Currently, young Spence is staying with us in the house truck. We finally got some rain and we sure as hell need it here. It's been pretty dry. Got a couple of paradise ducks that have joined my ducks. They'll be stealing their food. Kind of cool to see the paradise ducks joining my peking ducks. I'm going to take those eggs out because a hawk is coming down to get them. I thought it was rats, but it actually was a hawk. That's four this morning. We got three yesterday morning, so that's good. They think they're going to get some eggs. No, you're not, Pace. Not for you. No, no. Where you go, Pace. Not for you. Not for you, mate. I've got this little plastic box down here. A bit of feed and some hay. And these are the eggs I've got the last three days. So we're getting some good eggs here. We can eat these, but we can also put them in the incubator and grow some ducklings. And I know you'd like to have them, but no, not for you. Googie or Po, you know the story, don't you, mate? Plenty of feed still? Cool, okay. No, don't throw it in the water, buddy. They can't get that, it just sinks to the bottom. They can't get that, mate, that's just uh, waste. Yeah, they're not going to duck dive and get that, that's uh, history. Yeah, this one's got some. You can just put a little bit out here just for those ducks that are still learning, the young ones. But uh, definitely not in the water. Okay. Gonna head up to the houseboat because I've mended the roof and I want to see if it's still actually okay. Yesterday it was good, but we didn't have that much rain, but we had a lot of rain the night, so we're gonna look at it and hopefully it's not leaking anymore. The sheep not only enjoy the shade of the houseboat, but also getting out of the rain. I might put some walls around it, some bits of uh, plywood. What you doing up there, Poe? Hey? You get up there by yourself, mate, did you? Hey? What you doing up there, Poe? Hey? Hey, you're a houseboat dog, are you? Good girl. You jump and pop catch you. No, old Pace has got no worries getting up there. Right. Good dogs. You're not going in though. No, you're not. Just one at a time on this uh, bud. Outside, Poe. You're not coming in. Pace, outside. You're not coming in, mate. Oh, the flies have come back. We're just poisoned. Look at the flies. Holy shit. Wow. And I don't see any water still. Oh, or is there? Oh, this looks like it might be okay. It's not dripping down still. Happy days. Happy days. I was expecting there'd be some water. This used to be dripping heaps. It'd be all on the floor. Well, we need to sweep the flies up because the girls will be staying in here today. Hunter and Dayla. Wow, that's awesome. That's so good that it's not uh, leaking. I might light the fire and make it warmer here. Good work, Spencer. We'll get those up because uh, Hunter and Dale will be sleeping here tonight, so I've just sprayed in here. It's just amazing. Those flies. Do you have flies like that where you are? Yeah, quite a few. Yeah. You've got a crazy amount. It's like a fly trap in here. You stay outside. Outside. All right, we'll let Spencer sweep those bloody flies up and we'll uh, give you guys some posse, eh? Hey, easy. Easy, Pace. Get out of there, Pace! Get him behind! Pace, get him behind! Pace, get him behind! Good dog. Good boy. That's a good dog. Stay in behind. We don't want to fight. Good boy. Good boy, Pace. You're a good dog. Get him behind. Good dog. Yes, you stay in behind, mate. We don't want to fight, okay? Stay in behind. Don't cut yourself on that, sweetheart. And rate it, please. Yeah, I How much is that a 9 out of 10? 9 out of 10? Mm. It's pretty tasty, it's eh? pretty tasty. Mm. Do you want a little bit more? Mm. Do you like it with the wax? Mm. It's like okay. nature's gum. Nature's gum it is. I'll just cut you a little bit more off. Oh, oh how good. It is good, eh? Yeah. Oh, Jeez, knees. Yeah. Oh, I'm a jersey. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the sticky jersey. Oh, We're going to edit that out. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he's a good one. In the boat, and it's a bloody stonker, man. It's been raining, and Spence is getting some dry wood to make a fire. 
We've uh, taken most of the scales off this bullet. And again, right at the end. Because I like to eat the skin as well. Nice kahawai. Young Spencer's cutting some wood. Hunter's going to help him. Going to make a fire. And we're going to smoke these guys. Beautiful. Get the wings off. Yes, they're just divine. We're going to smoke the frame as well because there's food in that. Good morning, ladies. Here's a wee treat for you. Hey, here's a wee treat for you. Get a bit of a protein hit. Mmm, turn that into eggs, so I say. Turn into that. I'm only getting about three eggs a day right now with our chickens. Do you like the uh, chicken pen with this uh, horrible weed growing through it? It does actually create a very nice... Aromatic. Well, it stops the uh, sun coming in, so they've got some shade. I like a chicken too. You look like a chicken? That hat you do look like a sort of chicken. Yeah, and I got chicken socks on. Nice fire, buddy. That's good. Good going. Hannah's putting salt on the fish, and heaps of it. Salting it. You're salting it. Salt on there. Yep, plenty of salt, both sides. And yep. Don't go light on the salt. Oh. And like your wings as well. One. You ever had uh, smoked kahwai? I have not. Just take uh, the excess salt off. Yeah. And just take the excess salt off, and it'll be good. You can see the actual moisture coming out. The salt's taking yeah. that out. Oh, is that what that you do that for? Well, no, it's also flavour. Give it a wee white. Yeah. That's enough. That'd be good. Just cleans it up. Good. Okay. Spencer said, "I thought you would have taken the rib cage out. The fish tastes nice off the bone, and you can actually peel that off and get more. Because when you take the rib cage out, you leave flesh behind. So that's the reason we left it in. Right." We've got some honey for you, young lady. What I want you to do is just a one piece, cut a very, very thin slice. Cut a thin slice on the ground. On the ground? Yep, there's some thin slices. We're going to try some honey. Thin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that off and that's good. Oh. And put that on this one here. And spread it over with your fingers and get real messy. Oh. Okay. okay. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. You can put some more on if you... But uh, give your hands a wipe after you've done yeah. that. I would have preferred chili flakes, which I've used before. Or oh, just a wee bit on that, and a wee bit on this one here. Just a wee bit. Just a and I'll leave these ones just uh, plain. Good fire, buddy. That's good. Nice work. Nice. Get on, Spencer. So what we've got on there, we've got some old oak chip from our last smoking, which will be enough. Hopefully, should be alright. Okay, just pop the side of bud, this over here. Ooh, how's that look? Pretty good, eh? The one that's got the honey on's kind of gone a bit darker. Mm. I reckon that's done. Just um check the fish here. Look all right. Oh yeah, nice. For somebody. How's it going? Mm. Can you taste the honey? Mm. Wait a bit, yeah. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How's it taste? Really good. You want to crank into it, Spencer? Try mm. a bit, mate. Three people, it serves a lot. It was a big fish, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. You want it soft like that? Mmm. That's hickory smoking. Oh. Mm. It's really good, eh? It's better than snapper by a country mile. We're going to eat this entire fish. Yeah, it's the honey one. Mm -hmm. While I'm off the keto diet, I'm enjoying things like this. Oh, yeah, the honey's good, eh? Mm. Just like break that off and eat that like that. Oh, she's a bit burned on that side, but we'll crunch into this. Mmm. It's like pork crackling. Mm, yeah, that's what it seems kind of like. It's just flaky. That is a right amount of chilli, too. Did you get the chilli? Mm. How was the chilli? Good amount. Good amount. Mmm. Mmm. Fish divine. Fair to say that that there is uh, done like a dog's dinner. Mmm. Did you enjoy it, Hannah? Mm hmm. 
Very much so. It's good, eh? It's a good meal. Spencer? Yeah, pretty good, eh? It's pretty good, eh, mate? Mm. Mm. Have to catch some more now. Every day In every way I get by Listen to what I say Every day Every way To what I say. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's about it's illegal fish. It's about a 25, but I'm gonna put it back. We could do better than that, yeah. I mean we've got a couple in the bin for lunch. This guy here, he's a feed. He's probably just on the legal size. But we'll put him back in though. Yeah, put him down. Okay, mate, just calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, calm the pump. Calm the pump, boys. You're hooked on the side of your body. This is not, not good, not good at all. Get this out. Get this out. What do you reckon, Spencer? We're gonna save him or he's gonna be. How big is he? Let's measure him up anyway, just to know. So that's 25 there. That's 25 at the end. So he's about a 27, but we'll put him back. We don't want to get the gills. This so we go underneath. This. And release him. Perfect. Woohoo! Well, Spencer's catching all the biggies, but that was fun, to say the least. My GoPro failed, so we're on the phone. Um, so I'm gonna chuck a, another frame of honey in there from what I took from up in the hut. Oh, okay. Just to feed on. So, will they have enough to go through winter now? Um, I'm not sure, we'll have to see. Okay, cool. Any more luck with the queen bee? Uh, no, I still haven't seen her again. But okay. Much, awesome. So this is where Zach has put it, the bees. How long are they going to stay here for, Bart, until you get them settled? Um, oh, I might come pick them up some more next week. Okay, he's going to get them next week. Yeah. And then you're going to bring us some back in springtime, is that right? Yeah, that's what I can get another swarm. So if we can get us another swarm, we're going to get some bees back in springtime, which would be bloody good to have. Because honey, honey. Honey. Hannah wants more honey, honey don't honey you? Honey makes your honey. Yeah, well the honey was bloody good on the uh, smoked fish today. Yeah, we did some kahawai and we did it with some hickory and we put honey and some chilli on it and it was really delicious. It tasted really nice. This is the original honey out of our hive that uh, Zach's putting back in. Well, he's doing it without a bee suit and I'm nervous. I've already had one chase me. Are you confident to do it without a bee suit, mate? Not really. Not really? No, okay, no. have you got any smoke? <laughs> yeah. Nah, I didn't bring any gear, I just ran do you think it's a good idea to do that without a bee suit and without smoke? Should be alright. Oh. I'll tell you, if you get stung heaps, it'll make great content. Cool. <laughs> Just missing. Nice gown, Zach. No stings, buddy. Just gonna put that strap on. You're all good, eh? Yeah. Well done. Oh, you're getting stung right now, buddy. Is that hurting? No, not yet. He's got his sting in you. Has he released his sting? No. He might not sting you, eh? You're gonna get him off without him stinging you, bud. Oh, he's got the sting in you, though, isn't he? Did he get you or not? No, no. Awesome. That was good. You kept cool, bud. He had his sting into you, but he didn't release it, eh? Good. What'd you say? <laughs> Data's just discovered the honey. Okay, take a little piece off, honey. I'm salivating. The wild honey. Is that for your coffee? No. 
Oh, uh, you're not supposed to eat like that, baby. It's pretty damn good, isn't it? Ooh. How do you rate it? Mm. It's delicious, really. Mm. It's actually very, very good for you too, that sort of honey. But you just don't want to have too much, because it is sugar at the end of the day. So any coffee? Yeah? Mm, tea. Your tea. Coffee. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go in. This is all we got. Think. It is all you get. Yeah, yeah, the rest has gone to um, the young fella and to the bees. Yeah, I think he's given most of the bees. I love the texture of the wax in my teeth. Like, it's so yum. I l mm. Yeah, it's good, eh? Mm. Oh, I think I just ate something that wasn't honey or wax. Did you get a bee, did you? Potentially. That's all right. Bit of protein with you, honey. Yeah. Okay, you pop that, clean your hands and pop it back in the fridge for you. Pretty good, eh? Yeah, the bean. Uh, yeah, it's really yummy. Mm. Where do you get this coffee from, Dad? That coffee comes from Swart Cafe. Oh, yeah. Swart Cafe in Australia. It's oh, from right. Chloe. So you can't get it what does it say on the packet? Two seasons. Yeah, two seasons. There, yeah, that's yeah. Chloe's coffee. Mm -hmm. Absolutely uh, delicious. Uh, well, coffee before I go back to Murchison, because the only coffee you can get is like six or seven dollars for like the. I don't want to say it in case anybody like, you can really loves it. It's yep. like McKenzie's. It's not bad at all, but it's oh, kind of okay. like, yep. you could get better coffee. Like Lafare. Yep. It's like, even like hummingbirds are pretty good. Mm -hmm. well, I've never had a better coffee than this one that um, Chloe gives us. It just, I can't go back. Jed's is nice, but I can't Jeds find a bit. Sublime's nice. I like Sublime, and mm. I like... I really like Lafare. I've got Dayla doing some editing on her last mission. And my youngest daughter is scrolling for dopamine. Am I right or am I right? I dopamine. Spencer's looking at trucks, vehicles, vehicles, and vehicles. He's into utes. Whole block, or can I split it? No, you need to delete it. Highland beef steak. Leeks and marrow. These elephant garlics came from Ross Nolly and we grew them and they are huge. Fresh airs. On top of our mushrooms, done in duck fat. Mate, keep on going. Come down low. So we've got black pepper going in. Got lots of it. Temperature's not too hot because we don't want to burn it. We're making a black pepper sauce with cream and large garlic and mushrooms. That's probably about enough there, brother. Good man, yep. Just gonna keep on moving that around the pan. And the salt. Yeah, you can smack a little bit of salt in there, bud. Just a wee bit. Just a pinch. Yep, go for it. Yeah, that's enough, mate. That's heaps. That's it, buddy. Into the pan. Uh, yeah, don't worry. That's okay, mate. Got a piece in there. Cool. Well done. Right, uh, cream buddy. Oh, no. So I say stop help. So we've given this garlic in here, the pepper and the mushrooms, about 10 minutes really slow heat just to sweat it out. We're going to make a nice sauce now. Spencer's doing the leeks and marrow, just draining it. It's a beauty. Smack it in bud. All of it. Nice. Nice. Fat steak. Ooh, look at the chef. Spencer says, oh, it's a bit chewy. Damn right it is. But tasty as. Beautiful. Okay, grubs up, guys. The meat's chewy but tasty. Not too bad actually. I just haven't got so many teeth as these guys. You're at an advantage. <laughs> I've had my last good tooth taken out. I haven't got my wisdom teeth yet though. Mm -hmm. But you've got molars at the back to chew on. Yeah, I have molars. No, I've taken out. That's what I've had taken out. Do you have wisdom teeth? They're long gone. You've got to have wisdom to have wisdom teeth, honey. <laughs> 
Are you enjoying it, Smitty? Yeah. Good. That's good, eh? Thank you. That's our video, guys, at home. Thanks for watching. Be good, can't be good, then be careful, and we'll see you in the next one. What's that veg vegetable? Marrow. Oh, cool. Marrow, leeks, garlic, all out of our garden. Mm. Enjoy. Everything on the plates from here, except the cream. <laughs>